everyone, I'm Silent Death, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, Science Harder Campaign. It is the day you have all been waiting for. Our dress probe gets to see if it was programmed correctly or if it's going to crash into the planet. We have a mere 13 and a half minutes until it reaches a dress. So let's fast forward a little bit. Until we get a little SOI transition. I guess I didn't have this part set up so it's facing the sun. But that's okay. Still works. Let's minimize that. Okay, another 50 seconds. And we are now officially, officially, in the sphere of influence of address. We've gotten a world first. We have a we have initiated the first flyby address. 30k for that. Now it is waiting to capture, so we want to fast forward a couple of minutes. That should be more than enough. And it is going to perform the first capture burn. First burn calculations. It has calculated a desired velocity of 7.8 something. Updating vessel stats. 7.89 meters per second. This is quite a long burn. In fact, we're going to use up all of our stage here and in most of our next stage. This stage here was supposed to get us into the first part of our landing burn. And this stage was supposed to actually get us on the ground. And the first part of our liftoff burn. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. This is quite a bit higher than we were planned on, I think. Of course, it could also be that we used up too much fuel getting here. I'm not quite sure. We are facing the sun now. So we can time warp a little bit. A little bit more. We can't go all the way forward because there's a bug with solar panels. If we go all the way forward, it will drain all of our power. The solar panels will stop working. I don't know why. Just how it is. And then the script breaks our warp force. Now it is turning to maneuver. Got a mere 24 seconds to do that. Turning. Doing a pretty good job, dude. Alright. Set. We should ignite here any second. I think we're about a few seconds off from this due to, I don't know, different calculations or something. I'm not sure which one is correct. Maybe this one, maybe this one. Who knows? Okay, I think everything's going well here. Should start the burn. There we go. And I guess we can time Excel because this is going to be, what, a four minute burn? Let's go ahead and get rid of this. And I'll put it right about there. Don't want to go too fast because it's already wobbling a little bit. And while this is happening, we can talk about something. You may have noticed that I sound a bit different. That is because 
The microphone that I ordered, the Blue Lit Yeti microphone, has finally come in. Thanks to everyone who donated to help me get that. I still haven't gotten a new set of headphones, but we do have a microphone. I guess if worse comes to worse, I can record without listening to any game audio. So again, thanks to everyone who donated. Also, it's going to take me at least a couple of episodes to get the settings just right. Let me know what sounds good and what doesn't. Naturally, I can only listen to it on my sound system, and it will sound different on your sound system, depending on the quality of your sound system and what YouTube does to the audio. So, if one episode sounds better than another episode, please let me know. Or if a particular part of an episode sounds bad, let me know that too, so that I can work on making it sound the best for the most people. That will take a lot of fiddling with things, and it's pretty subjective. But I will do my best to get it as perfect as possible. How we on a burn? I think we can speed up a little bit more. We're about to stage. I don't want to be time accelerating during the staging. Two. One second and stage go. Excellent. Only a few more seconds to burn here. Speed up a little bit more and a little bit more. All right, I think we can slow that back down. And that should be that burn. That shouldn't have happened, so I don't know what those ears are. Probably yeah, this was not a number. I bet that's what happened. Well, it doesn't matter because we are going to have to switch vessels anyway, and it will reboot the computer. So, we need to go over to our Minma satellite because our periapsis is almost three real-life days, which is a long time in Kerbal time. So it's going to be a while before we need to burn here. So let's go do this capture burn. Here we are approaching our SOI change. It's kind of a weird orbit we got going there now, don't we? Goes around and over and then up. Eh. I think we can fix it eventually. I managed to get a workaround for one of the problems that was causing frame rate issues, but it's not completely fixed. I don't know exactly what is causing it. We may end up having to downgrade back to 1.0.4. I hope not, but it's possible. There seems to be a lot of problems with this version of the game. Maybe it's just that we started this season on version 0.90. We've gone through several versions since then. And naturally there's going to be some issues. Let's add a maneuver node and we'll put it at our periapsis. And uh, I think it's like 200. Okay, that's probably a bit low. 100. We'll try to get a kind of circular orbit. That's close enough. 213 by about 200. Good enough for me. We'll lock you into the node. 
And yeah, it's only two hours, so we have plenty of time. How long does this burn? Four seconds? Or eight seconds? Four seconds until... Four seconds is half of the burn. That's what I'm trying to say. And this little guy, after we do this burn, will be left here until next episode. We won't be fooling with this guy anymore. We're going to be focusing on our little computer probe. Okay, so we're approaching time to burn. 45. There we go. How much Delta V do we have? Oh, we have tons of Delta V. No problems there. Just kind of even that out. Good enough for me. So you won't be going anywhere. Now then, we will jump back to our dress pro. Alright, it has booted up. It is trying to do some science. Measuring the temperature of space appears to be quite possible. Quite impossible. As there is no matter around to be either hot or cold. Except the spacecraft. And the thermometer itself. This is probably going to give the R&D guys something to think about for a while. We will keep one of these readings. And the others I don't want. Alright, we're recalculating the vessel stats. We are doing a burn calculation. A hundred and forty eight point eight meter per second burn. We should start facing the sun here in a moment while we wait to do our burn. We can probably get rid of this. And I guess we can go ahead and get rid of this too. And all of these. We aren't going to be launching anything anytime soon. At least not this episode. Still waiting on it to face the sun. There's a few weight things here. There we go. Facing the sun now. And when it finishes rolling, we can warp. We'll rely on the alarm clock to do that. And this is a part where we have to keep an eye on this. We go here, it fills up. We go here, it goes down. Up. Down. Really weird. We're not exactly changing the orientation or anything. Power's not changing at all. So what's causing the power to drain? Who knows? Did we get another thing? Or is that the same one? Oh, we did get a new one. Recent accomplishments of our space programs have attracted contributions from numerous organizations. We have escaped the gravitational influence of dress. We have? Huh? No, we haven't. That's weird. Well, we'll delete it. Six science. I'll take the science. Burn will be starting here in a moment. Stabilizing the physics load, turning towards maneuver. That little satellite's probably lopsiding us a little bit. It's having a little bit of trouble getting a facing just right. There we go. All right, we'll fast forward a little bit. We get about 10 seconds out. 
should be within that range somewhere. We're stabilizing the physics load. Keeping an eye, still trying to maneuver. Waiting for the status update. There it goes. Burning. That time to update this is probably going to throw off a burn a tiny bit. We're shooting for a 20 kilometer circularized burn. Well, we got pretty close. Close enough. We're finishing our burn. Now then, it should switch over to the next stage. We'll wait for that to happen. At least this time, it seems to have exited properly. There we go. SAS is turned on. If we time warp a little bit, there we go. A few more wait commands. Still nothing. There we go. Okay. Waiting to land. That is what I was looking for. And this is a good spot to quick save. <clears throat> it's kind of what that little waiting to land thing is. So we could switch the vessel and quick save and do all kinds of stuff. Now then, as soon as this five minutes passes, it will start doing the calculation for landing. So I don't think this is updating. Doesn't appear to be. Might should have put an update in there, but who knows. Keep an eye on this, I think. Or it might automatically stop us. Nineteen minutes. I think that means it's been about four minutes. Okay, there it goes. So it calculated the equator. That was what that little flicker was. And now it is finding the altitude at landing. Altitude above train where we're going to land is probably one of the highest points on the place. doing some adjustments try to find it just right hopefully we'll get there in a moment hopefully all right looks like it found something so this puts us 48 meters above the surface and the terrain altitude is now 823 meters we are facing the sun we have a tiny little bit of a burn here in an hour and 22 minutes okay I think we can fast forward now okay we can't go faster than 10 times below 30 kilometers all right time for a cut and we're back. We are turning to maneuver. Again, having a little bit of trouble getting right on that node. I really think it's a little bit lopsided in terms of center of mass. Okay, we have a bit of time until our burn. We'll fast forward. That's probably close enough. Okay, nine seconds. I don't know how close this is going to get. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Burning.
A tiny little burn. Looks like we get another thingamaduper over here. That finishes up the execute burn script. And now we should be switching over to the finding when to start a landing burn script. It was like in about 10 minutes. Waiting to burn. So we are facing the sun while we wait to burn. Let's see what this says while we fast forward a little bit. We have entered into a suborbital space flight above address. For that, we get 30k and 2 rep. Delete you, this is being quite profitable. A bit slow, can't go that fast. Which is odd, because the surface is not that high, I don't think. Not on dress. Impact time. It looks like our burn is a little less than two minutes before impact. Should be enough time to stop us. Hopefully we have enough time to change position too. Still going at full warp. I think the cutoff here is 10 kilometers. Yeah. Now we're down to a measly one. We can't go any faster. So why don't we put another cut while we wait a minute or two. After a bit of fast forwarding. We're about 35 seconds away from our node. The program should kick back on at 30 seconds till time, I think. There we go. Now it is facing a surface retrograde. Or it's supposed to be facing surface retrograde. Again, having that little bit of trouble. And it should just start to burning here any second. Still a fairly good amount above the terrain. So it may be kind of anemic in its first little start. Still says waiting to burn. Five seconds. Soon we will know. One second. There it goes. Pretty quiet little burn. It's only got the throttle at 90%. Because that is how we calculate things. I think it's functioning off the vertical speed, if I remember right. And I don't know if I do. But we will find out. If we're actually going to be able to land without any landing gear, without breaking off our satellite. Because I very much doubt we're going to be able to get back to Kerbin. Not with... Probably going to have about 500-ish Delta V left by the time we take back off. We actually might not even be able to get back up in orbit. It was what, 300 and about 400 meters per second? Orbital velocity? Could be close, could be close. Still going pretty quickly. Alright, it's cutting out our vertical speed. And now we are dropping. Hmm. 
vertical speed, desired speed, so yeah, we're dropping very quickly. That burn must have just been to cut out our horizontal speed. And let us just fall. Chasing the retrograde marker here. As we plummet to the surface, still have about a minute until we hit the ground. I think we can probably go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Go up to three times. We aren't falling very fast. Uh, surface gravity must, must not be very high here. I don't know what it is compared to Kerbin. Start wanting to slow down here in a moment. There goes our PID controller. Slowing us down. Keeping our vertical speed, I think about a tenth of our altitude above the terrain. Something like that. So we should land pretty softly. So far this is working quite well. Altitude, 100. Which I think it is. Yeah, there we go. A nice little view. For our final ending, please don't break. Oh, it looks like the slope might be a little bit high. Well, I mean 1.7 degrees, so this is a pretty good, good spot to land. You did well, little pro. 13 meters. Spinning, spinning, spinning. It did not retract the solar panels, which it was supposed to do. Alright, does it know that it's landed? I'm not sure it does. There we go. Now it knows. Waiting for liftoff. So it did the science. Seismically inactive. We will keep this data. I'm going to keep a temperature scan. Also seismically inactive. So we want two of those. And apparently we put three on. I don't know why we put three on, but we'll take that too. Maybe we'll transmit one. That might be what. And we bring the others back. So we're waiting five minutes to lift off. I have no idea how we can time this. Since this is not updating. We will fast forward. Let's see. I guess I can use something over here. to time it. One minute, two minutes, three minutes, four, five. Okay, there it goes. It's waking up, updating the vessel stats. Not much to do there. A launch. Looking up index for Zeta measures. Okay, something didn't happen there. I think our launch has failed. We have a failure to launch. Something must have broken. I know it broke. Oh, and we also got this. It's the remote tech integration. I bet if I turn on remote tech. We have landed on the surface of dress. 36,000. No science though. This. Turn on the remote tech. Okay. It is trying to. Yeah, if we. That was something that I forgot to change. Darn it. I should have quick saved after the thing. But actually. 
if we leave and reload this, we should possibly be able to come back. <clears throat> so let's try that. All right, here goes. We have switch vessels, forcing it to update. It is now calculating the gravity turntable. And this time is actually launching. How about that? It was just a remote tech switch. Hopefully this is going to work correctly. A pretty shallow gravity turn. Not much of wind. But we're still going decent vertical speed. Apple is climbing. Hopefully don't crash into anything. That would not be good. Looks like we're going to miss most everything. We're almost right on it. And now what is it doing? Okay, well now we're circularizing our orbit. Guys, our apoapsis has reached the desired 100k. We need a 43 meters per second burn. So we might be able to pull off a proper orbit here. We won't be going anywhere after that. Definitely not. Okay, so updating vessel stats. Facing the sun. At least we'll be able to speed up soon. Okay, we're already facing the sun. That's all. Okay, yep. Yeah, that is all we had to do. Right, because we had this designed to land on sunward. Okay, I guess we'll just fast forward what we can. Wait until we get far enough away from the planet that we can go even faster. And while I was switching vessels, I happened to switch to Dress Pro B to see if it had more Delta V, and it does not. So no one will be leaving Dress. They will be stuck in orbit forever. Actually, the second Dress Pro looked like it had maybe a little bit less Delta V. So it may end up not even making it to orbit. really really poorly estimated how much a Delta V it took to capture or maybe that they changed the nuclear engine since we launched this vessel has been gone for a while one year 152 days that is probably our longest flight At least we can go up to 10 times now. Wait until we get up to 30k, which should be fairly quick. How long of a burn? I did a little tiny burn. Two seconds. Tiny, tiny thing. Hopefully we'll still be able to transmit our science from dress. We'll have to wait and see here in a moment. After we do our little circularization burn. Alright, 30k. How fast can we go? Up to 50 times. Then up to 100 times, probably. Yep, no faster than that. But we're getting pretty close. Slowing ourselves down. And there goes that. Turning towards maneuver. Or trying to. <clears throat> kind of overshot that a bit. Come on, you can do it. A little bit more. Okay, there you go. We'll fast forward to you. Uh-oh. 
Ah, auto save there. Kind of slowed us down. Okay, just a couple seconds until we start the burn. Burning. Trying to hold on. Getting pretty accurate there. You know, that is a pretty awesome burn. RT off. That's off. So it is finished. It should switch to waiting for a transfer burn. Finish burn. It's going to try to finish up the circularization burn, I guess. calculation so yeah just a tiny little burn to try to get it just perfect because this is was supposed to be our transfer burn and we want to get as close as possible we're waiting for it to face the sun there we go I forgot about this burn and we'll just fast forward a little bit this shouldn't take but just a second. I'm actually pretty impressed that this did so well. Except for that one little remote tech thing which was just an oversight on my part. Something I had forgotten to do. Instead of not knowing that I needed to do it. And really that was only a couple of lines of code. facing the maneuver we can fast forward a bit 20 seconds three two one burn burning updating puffing and that was it I don't even think it even burned it was like I need to burn no wait I don't I'm done Okay, waiting for this to exit out of its script and move on to the next stage. But I guess we can go ahead and do what we need to do. The script is pretty much done everything it needs to do. It'll switch over to the next stage here in a moment, which I think is just a waiting stage. Where is Kerbin? There you are. Set as target. Then we'll add an alarm. Distance alarm. Target distance from Kerbin. See, so waiting for transfer. So, an altitude of. That's 100,000. We won't be within range of our uh, antenna, which is 40 gigameters. So, we're going to go, say, 39. Nine. That is thirty-nine thousand two three million one two. Why are you switching? What altitude? Huh? How do you get seventy-nine from thirty-nine? Why is that? Just wrong. And we will reach the target distance in what? 39 minutes. That doesn't sound right. That can't be right. What is going on here? I think we broke something. Alright, there's a hundred kilometers. 39, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. I don't think this is right. Well, we can say... Probably happen... What is our distance to Kerbin now? 
13 billion. So we might be in range now. Are we? I don't even know what our satellite is pointed at. Are you pointing at Kerbin Mike by any chance? Can I click on you by any chance? Okay, it is pointed at the inner system comsat. Which means to have a connection, we need to go back to the inner system comsat and tell it to point to this. Let's see if that'll give us a connection. Okay, according to this, the current distance to our dress probe is 42.22 gigameters. And we should be closing as we orbit, I think. So as we orbit around, we should be catching up to it. So we're orbiting faster. I bet if we tell this to wait, say 100 days, we will add an alarm, do it just a raw time alarm, and we'll call this dress probe A in range. And we're about to run out of power with this. Display the message, don't break the warp. I want you to be 100 days. In 10 minutes, I guess. So add that alarm. And I don't know if we're going to do the dress pro B since it's not going to be anything special. We may, we may not. Depends on if we can transmit any science or not. But that is going to be it for this episode. Like if you like, subscribe if you're not, leave a comment if you have anything to say, especially about the microphone. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.